Hi, this is Michael William Denny of the ThunderWizard.com YouTube channel. So, I need your help. I am going to be conducting an online video spiritual, psychological, sociological, and financial experiment. And it's going to be an interactive experiment, meaning I need you to be a part of this with me. And I think all of us are going to learn from it. Now, it's an ex it really is an experiment because I don't know what the outcome is going to be. In fact, my feeling is that the universe is trying to play a trick on me and what's going to come out of this may be something I had never expected and it might be really explosive. And you'll get an idea what I'm talking about when I, when I explain to you what it is. So uh, I'll, I'll just I'll give bits and pieces, but let me just give you the overview of what I'm going to do. So... I have another YouTube channel uh, that I almost never use. It's more of like an experimental channel where I experiment with different stuff and I throw it up there to see what happens with it. Um, you can look at it. It's Michael William Denny. It's, you know, all my name and it's a YouTube channel all by itself. And, um, you know, it gets almost no views and it's just, you know, you can, you can tell by looking at it. It's just sort of things I sort of experiment and throw up, but I don't really put a lot of time and effort into it. I'm going to take that channel. I may change the name on it. I haven't decided yet. But what I'm going to do with that channel is I'm going to devote that channel to a character that I'm going to create. And that character is going to be a shaman. A shaman who channels a high-level rishi. And this is going to be a rishi. I'm talking off the top of my head as I go. Um, I'm going to keep continuing to create this character. It's going to be a rishi who has contacted this shaman. Maybe it'll be me, Michael William Denny, I don't know. Uh, a high-level rishi who has contacted this shaman because he has very important life-changing information because the world is about to shift into the next level. And this rishi has decided to speak through my character in order to give extremely important information to the world so that they have the knowledge to know what to do to be able to make the shift to the next level. Now if you don't know what a Rishi is, uh, look it up, R-I-S-H-I. A Rishi is, uh, uh, depending on who you talk to in the Vedic tradition, it is a shaman who sees the, um, the order of the universe and uh, channels mantras channels the Vedas. The Vedas are said to have been channeled by rishis, not written by poets, but channeled by rishis. Now, some people believe that rishis are much higher than that, that rishis are these very high level uh, spiritual beings that are, you know, on the level of the creators of the universe, who control the universe, who, who, um, influence the universe, who control the evolution of all life, including human beings. So I don't know where I'm going to go with that yet. I'm still going to continue to, to work on that. So that's what that channel is going to be. Now on that channel, I am only going to be in character. I am never going to be myself. On this channel, I am going to tell you exactly what I'm doing why I'm doing it, what my thought process is. I'm going to, sh I'm going to be completely um, uh, um, transparent so you know what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, and my experience of it on all levels, on how it affects my finances, on how it affects me personally, on how it affects the videos that I do, on, on what happens to me as a result of it. So let me tell you what I think my reasoning is. Because again, I think the universe might be tricking me into something here. But let me tell you what my reasoning here is. Um, I'm, as you can see, <clears throat> I'm committing more to my YouTube channel. And I would like to have my YouTube channel be my primary source of income. Um, I do make a little bit of money. By the way, in case you guys think I'm rich because I have books, trust me, I'm, I, <laughs> I, you know, most people would not be able to tolerate the... <laughs> <laughs> the amount of money that I make. I love it because I love being free. I, I trust the universe and I know the universe gives me what I need. So, you know, I, I'm never worried about it. Even when I know I'm looking at, you know, how the hell am I going to get through this month? Um, but just know that I don't make a hell of a lot of money. I'm always trying to think of new ways to get more money coming in. But, um, so this, that's my thinking about, it. okay, I'm thinking about how can I be more successful as a YouTuber? 
And when I started looking at the most successful YouTubers, I was absolutely flabbergasted at the level of superficiality. The people that are bringing in, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars a year are people who, whose channel are about nothing. You'd think it would be high-level stuff and somebody really putting together a good cooking show or a good... It's not. It's... It it's, looks like teenagers doing nothing. I mean, breathing in helium, um, talking about their day, um, talking about their favorite makeup. I mean, there's just really... There's, there's no depth to it. There's nothing there. And they're making hundreds of thousands of dollars a year. So when I saw that, I said, I'm trying way too hard. But I am who I am. I can't do anything very superficially. I, I have to feel like I'm doing something of value, something deep. And I know that a lot of times I'm talking over people's heads or about things that most people could care less about. But that's just who I am. You know, I have to do what makes me happy, what, what interests me. So I know that. i got to do something that interests me. So I'm also, I'm also very uh, um, intrigued with the whole channeling thing. Now, you guys know me. I'm a shaman. You know, I, I've written about my experiences talking to the god Odin, Thor. Um, I've, I've shared with you my shamanic visions and experiences. So I'm not like a disbeliever in any of that. But the whole idea that, you know, channeling, there are, like, there are two extremes, right? Let's talk about Bashar. B-A-S-H-A-R. Go look him up. <laughs> I mean, the guy is a circus act. I mean, I used to be an actor, uh, and so I know when somebody's a bad actor. That guy's a bad actor. He's horrible. But he's so extreme, and he has so many people that believe that he really is channeling Bashar, whatever the heck that is. I am flabbergasted by that. On the other end, uh, we have uh, Abraham Hicks which is, if I understand it correctly, is some woman whose last name is Hicks, and she channels some guy named Abraham. But she doesn't act like a circus freak. She talks normally, and she says we, meaning they're sort of like this unified, and he's speaking through her. And people love her. I mean, she does all of these books and seminars, and people go on cruises with her. And when I listen to her, there's nothing wrong with what she says. I mean, it, it, but it just seems like pretty run-of-the-mill, average, uh, spiritual, kind of superficial, spiritual, the secret, new age stuff that really doesn't go anywhere. There's nothing wrong with it. It's very inspirational. But it, but it intrigues me because why, why can't she just come out and say, here's my, you know, like, be like, you know, a Tony Robbins and just say, here's my deal on what I think about this. And, you know, why does she have to, why, why is it that people have to believe that it's some angel or some alien or some spiritual being speaking through her for people to take what she says seriously and use it in their lives? So that is my thought. It's like, you know, I could do that. I'm a brilliant actor. You know, I, I, I really, I, I'm a very good actor. I never really made it in Hollywood. Um, there wasn't any money in it for me. It was a lot of work. I gave up on it. Um, but I could do that. And I, you know, if I wanted to create a cult, I could do it. So my thought is, I'm going to create this character on this channel, and I'm going to commit to this. A shaman who's going to channel a high-level rishi who has extremely important information to give to the world. Now, having had experiences like this, I know that it's possible. So my, my fear is, what if I actually do channel a Rishi? What if by putting myself in that position, because I know the universe doesn't care. Let me give you an example. Carlos Castaneda. Brilliant. If you've never read his work, please go read his books. I mean, some of the most profound shamanic truths you will ever find anywhere. And I've practiced his stuff. I read his stuff for years over and I had books underlined so much of his stuff until I found out he was a fraud, a notorious fraud. 
He was an extremely destructive person. He was a cult leader. The people that followed him, he destroyed their lives. We don't even, their bodies we haven't even found yet of the people who killed themselves when he died. He made everything up. He stole everything either from, you know, uh, existing spiritual uh, traditions. Um, he stole a lot of stuff from Native Americans and he made the majority of everything he wrote up. None of it ever happened. He made it up. And he started it when he was in uh, college. And I think it was either his master's or his doctorate in anthropology. And he knew he didn't have anything. So he created, concocted this Don Juan character. And he made all this stuff up about, you know, taking uh, hallucinogens and all that. And he passed it off as his thesis. And they bought it. They, not only did they buy it, they loved it. And that started him on this whole thing. And he wrote all those books. But it was all fake. It was all a fraud. None of it was real. But what, and it crushed me. When I found out that he was a fraud, it crushed me because I had practiced his stuff and I had had incredible experiences with it. You can probably, if you listen to me, you can hear a lot of the influence that he has had on my thinking and on my experience, which I've proven in my daily life. So I know that the universe doesn't care what the, the, the um, intent of the channel is. So I could if I do this with the idea that I'm going to experiment to see what people are going to do, um, I might channel, I might really channel something. Who knows what will happen? Here's what I'm going through in my head, is that I'm amazed at how gullible people are. And I, you know, I've been attacking this when I'm attacking some of these other conspiracy theories, and I'm trying to, to tell you guys, listen, you are everything. You've got to focus on yourself. Gain your own power. Don't listen to people that, that take your power away. But my thought is, is I'm going to do this other channel. And I'm going to get it, gain a huge following with it. And then I'm going to reveal to them, I'm not channeling anybody. I'm just sharing with you my insights. All I'm doing is I'm doing a funny accent. And telling you that it's coming from somewhere else. So that you guys will stop looking for something outside of yourself. That you are everything. You don't need to bow down or worship anybody. The gods are there to serve you. When I do my mantras, when I do my rituals to the gods, I'm doing it to empower and to awaken from within myself these infinite powers. I don't worship them in the same way that Christians worship Jehovah, the almighty giant ego of the universe that throws people in hell when they don't do everything he wants. The gods are there to empower me and to help me. They are there to serve me. That's how it works. And so that's my thinking, is that I'm going to create this channel, I'm going to commit to this, to, to this character, and I'm going to gain a following of people who think that they're, that they're listening to some high-level Rishi, and then I'm going to reveal to them that it was all um, a sham just to prove to them you know, that, that any one of us can just simply bring forth our own knowledge and our own awareness and it can be as profound as anything else. Now here's what I don't know about. Because in my experience, you know, when I have opened myself up to these kinds of things, doors open that I never could have imagined. And I know, also know that if somebody believes that they are channeling a high-level Rishi. A high-level Rishi will go, hey, look at that. That person has the ability to, and they'll go and channel through that person. So I'm also experimenting to see where it'll go. So I'm going to share everything with you on this channel, exactly what I'm going to do and what the process is. And I'm going to be totally honest with you. And on that channel, I will never reveal anything about what's happening. And you guys, I ha you have my permission to go on that channel and to comment on it, to, to tell the truth in the comments, because I want to see the people who refuse to see the truth. You can go and tell them that I, about this channel and tell them that I'm making this all up as an experiment. And I want to see as an experiment how many of those people <laughs> refuse to see the truth. <laughs> and who knows what's going to happen. I, I, anyway, I'm really excited about it. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm hoping that it will reveal a lot of stuff. 
I'm hoping that it will help boost me and get me more views on this channel and get my work out there and help me make a living but also give me an opportunity to work with people and I'm also part of me is hoping that I'll be proven wrong part of me is hoping that when I do this that a real Rishi will show up and if that happens I'll tell you I'm gonna be I, I promise to be completely honest with you if I start to lose my mind I will come on here and tell you that I'm losing my mind if a real Rishi shows up in my bedroom and starts telling me things I will tell you listen it happened if it doesn't and it's all this big joke I will tell you that I will tell you everything on this channel okay so that's it I need your help uh, I, I'm not ready to roll it out yet I'll let you know as it's coming but tell your friends about it tell people about it so we can all enjoy the experiment or the joke or the revelation or whatever it is so anyway that's it for now if you like my channel please support the channel if you don't see the little thing here scroll below where it says support this channel by the way thank you to everybody who has supported it it means the world to me and it makes me feel so good all the comments that you give me and let me know that you like what I'm doing thank you so much I really appreciate it also if you want to help me out like subscribe comment below uh, and you know do whatever you can to get more people onto this channel uh, so that I can get the word out not only so that I can make a living but really more importantly so that, so that I can get these teachings out because I do believe that they're important and I do believe that they're necessary and I do believe that um, they can have the same effect on you that they have on me so um, if you have any comments or questions for me personally put it in the comments below I do work with people individually put your name in there I'll email you and we'll see if we're right to work together um, if you have any ideas about videos please put them in there if I like it I'll do it um, and that's it for now again uh, my friends thank you so much I, I'm really enjoying where this is going and I really look forward to see <laughs> where this is gonna go okay talk to you soon